Hey, Facebook. How are we? Happy Valentine's Day. I really don't like this hoodie on me. So I'm going to take it off. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. You're hopping on. Caden is having the hardest time going back to sleep. So I'm hoping that I can get him situated. He's already upstairs, but he is just crying up a storm. Can you guys see this? Oh my gosh. Hey, Anne. So I'm hoping I can get him to chill out. All right, if you brought your wine, let me see it. I don't know about you guys, but I might need that tonight. Just a little. Hey, Lucy, welcome. Glad you're here. Let's give Facebook just a second to tell our friends that we're live since I'm kind of early tonight. Did everybody get my robot message? If you did, let me know. I want to make sure it's working for us. So if you got it. Hi, Linda. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Avery has been obsessed with today all the whole day. Hey, Kathy. So she's been driving me nuts. Um, I know I've told you a thousand times, but happy Valentine's Day, and I love you. And I asked her, I said, what do you like so much about today? She's like, everybody just loves each other. And I said, oh, okay, you're on to something, chick. I'll let you have it. I will let you have the joy in today. So, hey, Gabby. Thanks, Mari. Perfect. You got my P, my private message. Good. My bot's working. So, all right. Well, so there's a couple things. I forgot to show you guys a box the other night, and it's a box that I snagged from Facebook Marketplace <laughs> for 20 bucks. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. So I want to show you guys that. Um, there, I know a lot of it's Christmassy, but I still want to go through it. And so why not show you guys, you guys can see what I'm looking at and how exciting it is. So I'll show you that. And then we're going to, um, I've been trying to finish this wreath for so long. Um, so this is a shotgun shell breast cancer wreath. The sign says hope. And then there's this little bow in here and it's kind of been smushed. So I need to go back and kind of fix it. Anyway, I've been trying to finish this wreath, but it snowed. Um, and so I couldn't get my shotgun shells where I normally go and grab them and pick them up and stuff. And so the poor lady that won this, I gave this away when trying to build up my website or my Facebook page a long time ago. She's been waiting for this forever. And so I'm like, you know what? I got to finish it. So I went up today and I found some more shotgun shells. So we're going to try to finish it and then, or get as close as we can. And then we'll go from there. Lisa is here. I think Avery's here too. I thought I heard footsteps right behind me. So I might see here. Let me turn this glue up just a little bit more for just a minute because it's starting to get sticky. Yep, I know I heard footprints. She is here. And she's not supposed to be. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna stay up because I don't feel so good. Oh yeah, you don't feel good? <laughs> Hi Nancy. Um you need to go watch TV upstairs in the front room and then leave the door open so I can hear you. And don't get into any candy or anything because you didn't eat your dinner. Mm -hmm. There's something to tell you. What? You, you're making me a special with candy. <laughs> I love you. Uh, oh, hey, there was a like a little thumbs up thing. Oh, good. Okay. Take your Barbie and go upstairs. Okay, what? Right here. This Barbie's oh. been hanging out in here for too long. She's ready to go upstairs. All right, let's go through this box, guys. Hi, Alan. Hey, Alan, did you join Lori's group? Hey, Dorothy, happy Valentine's Day. All right, let's go through this bag and then let's get started on this shotgun shall we? All righty. Like I said, I got, oh, what is this? I snagged this whole bag in a box. Oh, it's ribbon. Oh, pretty ribbon. The screen's really pretty. Super bright. Holy cow. Kind of cool. I'll probably go through that and straighten all those out so I can maybe use them. I like this bag to put ribbon in. Oh, that's a great idea. Look, it's got a hook too. You can clean it. This looks like a Halloween costume, right? Like something from a Halloween costume. So, so funny. 
Hi, Mary. Oh, she is so cute. I know, guys. And she did. She really does have a stomach ache. They ate a lot of candy today at school, so she's had a horrible belly ache all day. So I don't believe her that she does, or I don't doubt what she says. She doesn't feel good. Oh, these are cute. Look at these cute little poinsettia picks. Those are cute. There's three of them, four of them. Three of them. Oh my gosh, look how cute these are. Oh, little snowman. Yeah, so I scored this whole box for 20 bucks and I said, I don't care if it's Christmas or not, I'll take it. She's like, so, and I said, sweet. Oh, wow. I could probably take the sandbag out of it and do something with it. So something so cute. Oh, look at that. I know your guys are all like, Christmas is over. Oh my gosh, this ribbon is so cute. That is so cute. Some cute little red sheer ribbon. Oh, this is cute too. It says Merry Christmas on it. Hey y'all, if you're, if you're hopping on and you're new, my name is uh, Casey Lemondello and I am the owner of Lemon Drop Re Shop. And we are going to have some fun today. We're going to do a shotgun shell wreath and I'm just going through a box um, right now. I am from Utah, good old Utah. Oh, I live in Utah. I'm from Montana, but I live in Utah. Look at this cute little ribbon here. So if you're new and hopping on, thanks for joining us. And if you don't mind hitting that like or share button, I would appreciate it so much. Ooh, this one's really cute with this green on the end. I need ribbon, so let's stack, let's stock up on this ribbon here. Oh, these are cute too. I might make hair bows with these for Avery. Mixture. Oh, rose gold, my favorite. Look how sparkly that is. Kawee! They are really cute. And I have no, I'm sorry guys, I have no idea where she would have gotten these at. Walmart. I have never seen these at a Walmart before. So super nifty. Somebody needs to look for these. Do you guys want the skew? Maybe they'll bring it back. Uh, 7010913970. Made in China. All right, let's put these ribbons back in here. Sorry, I've been dying to go through this box. I got it at a yard sale, and I'm like, let's go through this. Hi, Kathy. I'm good. How are you? Thank you guys for sharing the love. Do you guys see Avery? She's like, Mom, my belly hurts. All right, let's put that one down there. All right, we got, so this was all together at the yard sale. Oh, my gosh. My husband, so I told him I wanted this saw, right? And he goes in the garage and he sees it. And he's like, did you go buy that saw? And I was like, what saw? And he's like, the one outside. I was like, I did not go buy the saw, Joe. I don't know what you're talking about. And he literally thought that I went and bought this saw. <laughs> and I did it. It's, it's all my craft stuff. Oh, this is cute. I think this is from Joanne. Yeah. The snowball mesh. I'll show you guys. This is so cute. I've used this stuff many times. It is so cute. It does flake a lot, though. But it's like a tool. It's not even like a mesh. It's like a tool. So fun. I like to use this for ruffles. They, they call it a mesh, but I think it's more like a tool than it doesn't stretch very much. Hey, Don. Thanks for hopping on, guys. We're just going to go through a box really quick and see all my goodies, and then we're going to make a wreath. Oh, these are cute. These little picks here. Super Christmassy, but that's okay. Can never go wrong with more Christmas stuff. Oh, look at that. So cute. There's lots of those. Lots of those. Oh, wow, there's three in here, too. Oh, look, a somewhat made wreath. Cool. A tiny, tiny one. I probably feel like a centerpiece or something. Do something with that. Oh, these are cool. These little pipe cleaners. They're like, they match that normal drift stuff. Super cute. Cotton. Tis the season to be jolly. That's really cute. It's really sturdy, too, actually. 
Hey, for hopping on, hi. I know, I totally did score on this box. Look, yeah, if I get, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You guys are like, what? Show us, show us. Okay, I'm obsessed with these. These are so freaking cute. Can I do a Christmas wreath just to do it, or do I need to just move on? Oh my gosh, do you guys, so the leaves are black, and then they have this rose gold ball on here. Ball, haha, haha, -ha, ball. Cute, and there's a bunch of them. Well, look at these princesses that are rose gold. So dang cute. And then look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at this little fuzzball thing. Oh my gosh. That reminds me of what movie does this remind me of? Um, help me out. The Grinch. Do it. You're like, do it. Make it. Oh my gosh, look at rose gold and gold balls. All glittery. Some of them are ornaments, but the other ones are not. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I should go hug this lady. This is amazing. 20 bucks, no joke. <gasps> Colleen, look what's in here. Didn't you make a centerpiece out of these gingerbread? Oh, your, your chair things, your chair backs. With the gingerbread men? Maybe I'm wrong. I thought that you might have used these, but maybe you're wrong. Oh my gosh, these are so cute too. These little candy canes. Oh my gosh. And I just bought a freaking ton of pipe cleaners. This is why you should go through the boxes before you place orders at places. Less than one. Go through your boxes before you place an order. I just bought literally a ton of white stems. Trust them. And I didn't even need to. They're all right there for me. Lisa knows she just bought them for me. Oh my gosh, these things are cute too. Look at these. Ooh. My creative juices are flowing. Where's Johnny boy? Johnny was here right now. His creative juices will be flowing now. Window shopping takes care of all of that sometimes. Oh, these ones are cute too. Look at these cute little things. Oh, it's all tangled up. Super cute. Some more, oh, cute, more ribbons. Some white mesh. Oh, look at these ginger, look at this gingerbread. That is so cute. This cute little house. Oh, I love these. These little springs. Springs. More ribbon. She must have was going to do some kind of spunky wreath. More gingerbread. Tons more cake. Some used mesh. Lots of cotton. Oh. How cute. I don't know where she scored off. I've never seen any of this stuff at our Joanne. She must have went to like Joanne's in Salt Lake or something. Because I have never seen any of this stuff at our Joanne. And I go there a lot. Score. All right. We have some Christmas decor. Let's put this away. Right? Score. Oh, leaving those shit out. All right. Okay. So, funny story. I had a lady when I first started doing my wreath business last, not this last September, this September, so 2017. Um, I started doing my wreath business and she said, Can you make me a shotgun shell wreath? And I said, 
I've always wanted to do that. You should see my collection of shotgun shells that I already have. And she said, really? And I said, yeah, I don't know. I've always collected these things and said I'm going to do something with them, and I've never done it. And um, I got it from a garage sale on the class of ice. She said, come and get it. Last call. And I said, I'll give you 20 bucks. And she said, gold. Um, so when I say I collect shotgun shells, I collect shotgun shells. And this is just my red one. And then I have a whole other bag full of them. So I collect them, and I don't care what condition they are in because I wipe them down and do all that kind of stuff with them. And so I collect these, and then I make reads out of them. And uh, they're pretty fun, actually. I think I'm going to plug in my gun, too, just to be safe, because if that pot of mine decides it doesn't want to work, after our last wreath and wine event, it stopped working. Just like shorted out, so I'm gonna probably take it back to warm right here. But, like this doesn't work. Send you the ribbon? No way. I'm keeping it. Sorry. I need that. I don't have much Christmas ribbon. All right. So this is the wreath. I'm gonna. I'll zoom down in just a second. So this is my wreath. I started it a while back, and I need to finish it. Um, I ran out of shotgun shells, and like I said, with the weather and stuff. So it. Um, I'm going to have to mute this because if not, every single time you guys comment, I'm going to get them on my watch. And it's going to be a long night. Oops. Okay. All right. Turn that watch off. Okay. Yeah, so let's, we're going to redo that. We're going to do this and then I'm going to send it to... Um, nope, that's not what I want. I think it's going to go to New York. I think that's where she lives at, is in New York somewhere. So that's what we're going to do, and then I think we're going to change the bow because I don't know if I like that bow. I don't have any more of this breast cancer ribbon, though, but maybe I can take it apart um, carefully. Go from there. Hey, Nicolette. Not yet. I'm working on it right now. Yeah, Nicolette's friend is the one that won it. I did, the snow came early over here, so I, like I said, I had to go and look for some shotgun shells and found some pink ones the other day, so we'll see how much we can fill and see what we can do here. All right. I don't know if I like this ribbon or this bow or not, but maybe I will leave it. Uh, I don't know. It's a pretty sad bow. Let's take it off. Let's see what we can do with that. All right. I'm going to zoom this camera down so you guys can see. Can you guys hear me okay? Avery just turned that TV up upstairs. All right. And then here's my bag of pink ones. There's not very many. So I'm not sure what happened here. And then sometimes we have to cut these down and whatnot too, so we'll see what happens. How's everybody's Valentine's Day? What did you guys do? Did you cook dinner? Did you go out to dinner? Did you guys get anything? Pam, happy Valentine's Day to you.
So I cut them down a little bit so I can bend them where I want them to go. And then I take my gun to shoot them in the rest of the places. And I gotta make sure I use clear glue so it dries clear. And then I go through and I peel off all the extra glue in certain spots and just chip it out off of there so you can't see it. You were just turning the TV on upstairs really loud. It gets pretty hot though, it still melts the plastic. So I love making these. So I just do a styrofoam frame and go all the way around. It's pretty easy. Three AM. Oh gosh. It's should be asleep. Joe sent Avery wrote a flower in a balloon to school today. Oh, I forgot to do a code word. Our code word is shotgun. Shotgun. I think I'm going to make a big old bow for this too. I just do them in different directions too. And so I just do the first layer and I try and get it filled in. And then I go around the sides and then I'll top it so that way you don't have any of these holes missing. So these, these ones take me a long time to do. They're kind of time consuming. That was a little warm. My finger. I know we don't either because um, our anniversary is in February or in March, and so I just don't see a point because I would so much rather celebrate our anniversary than celebrate Valentine's Day. But um, I think I look at it a bit more for our kids. Like my dad made a huge deal out of Valentine's Day for us kids, and so I think that's why I do what I do because of that. So. Nicola, I haven't seen you on a live in so long. How are you? How's how's our how are things? How's sassy girl? Oh good, you took a nap before? That's great. I'm glad you took a nap. Cause yes. Oh, you're so sweet. You took a nap so you can get on here. You're so sweet. I bet Lisa appreciates that just as much as I do. I love naps. Hi, Kara. I probably said that wrong. Is it Kara? No, Kara. Kara. I asked Lisa to say, Lisa, can I take a nap? And she told me no, and I did it anyway. I took a 30-minute power nap, and it was fabulous. And if I wouldn't have done it, I probably would be really cranky. <laughs> it's been so windy, and... I hate when it's windy because I can't sleep when it's windy at all. It just because the trees in our backyard just it's so loud for our master bedroom. And so when it's windy, I just can't sleep. And so last night I didn't sleep very good. So it's pretty tired. On top of that, Caden will not go to sleep. He's still crying. 
and I feel bad because he's been in his bed for too long, just cranning it out. But I don't know what to do. I've never had a baby that is now great. Was well, he was horrible sleeper in the beginning. Um, we co-slept, which was it worked out for the when it did, but he was time that he could um go off on his own. I was like, you are gonna go sleep in your own bed because mommy can't do this anymore. And then um we went up to my uncle's house and all of a sudden now he doesn't want to sleep. And we were only there for a few days. We were there that long. Does anybody else use the clear Gorilla Glue and do you like it when you make wreaths? Because I really like it. How was your trip to Sims? Did you find anything good? We can collaborate together on that and probably figure something out. Can you, I don't even know how, cause you probably can't string it. And then like, cause that's, so I could, like somebody was asking me how to make this. And for the life of me, I was like, yeah, I could. I just don't know how would I would do it or whatever. And what would be more like resourceful and then time, time wise and then things like that. So I tried multiple different ways. And this is still the best way, I think, because it gives it so much character. The other way is you can't control it all. And so I just like doing it this way. Um, yeah. But there's, you, anybody could really do this, like, like, any way you wanted. But, whoa. I just do it my way. And then I did it on a wire frame on a wire frame before and I just didn't like the way it turned out. So now I go to the stair foam and that way I know I can just like push them in there and get them set in there. He spent way too much money. Well that Sims will do that to you. You were three dollars shy. Oh my gosh. I know it's unique. I think I'm the only person that has it because if you check Pinterest, the only thing you're going to find are my pins. I'm going to write a blog post about it. I was never going to plan on doing this on a live ever, never, ever, ever. But I wanted to finish it and I got a butterfly from um, the crazy chicken lady. And I just don't like how I painted it. So I did not have time to go back and fix it. Plus I have wreath and wine next week. So I've been trying to get my kits ready for that. And then look, just it's been a lot going on since I got back from town. And we got back a day later than what we were supposed to. So I just feel like I'm very behind on things. So, and when I found, when we went up to the range and found these, I was like, oh, score, I'm going to, I am totally going to, oh, it's hot. Totally gonna do something. Hey, Laura Jean. Oh my gosh, Laura Jean, your wreath turned out so cute. I need that umbrella. I want to try and make one myself. Ow. Son of a nutcracker. I don't know why that glue was so hot right there. Oh, the metal. <laughs> That's what I would do, and how I would attach the back is with rope, so it can hang. That's how I'm going to do this one. 
That's exactly what I would do. best snippets in the world. I wish you would have went live in there. I would have sent you. Ooh, I do want to order one of those umbrellas. From Hobby Lobby, is that what you said? I didn't know you got that at Hobby Lobby. Sonia, don't jinx me. That really hurt. I should have showed you guys my amazing blister. I never did. It healed up really good, though. I had that cream that I got from last time. But that really freaking hurt. It took everything in my body not to say the F word. Because that hurt. And it, like to pull it off, I think, was the worst. I almost wish I would have just left it there and then pulled it off after. Because it hurt even worse to pull it off. Oh, that was awful. So embarrassing. But hey, life happens, right? Sorry guys, I'm getting like way too into this and I gotta keep talking, right? So if you're good at puzzles, then mysteries might be for you because that's kind of how it is. You just gotta find where it fits and put it there. So sometimes with with the so when it has the lettering and the numbering on it for like the shotgun um, millimeters and stuff, um, it sometimes it's cute to cut them off in certain ways and then you fill these pieces in on the holes. So like, let's see if I can show you a little bit better. So like right here, how there's a little gap, I can just take this and fit it in there so that way it looks like it's part of the shotgun that's been and it's come off. So it's kind of cool. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm totally doing that tomorrow. I think I'm actually, do you think they have them in their store? Because I think I want to go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow. Thanks, Mari. Ooh, I want a green one. Laura Jean, you're the bomb.com. Thanks for sharing. Hi, Shandy. All right.
go. I don't know why it won't go down. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. My beautiful, no, I don't want to show my beautiful face. I don't have a beautiful face. He must be mistaking me with somebody else. I want your gorgeous locks, though. Like, just, I want my hair to be, like, as long as yours and just fling it around, like, so. Ah, I hate when it's like that, when it's just, like, just barely too long. Hey, Laura Jean, I got added to one of your groups and I didn't know if it was a pay group. So I left it because I think I got added on accident and I didn't pay for it. But if I was supposed to be in that group, I would love to come back. I don't remember what the group name of it was, though, but it had a lot of people in it. I just don't remember if it was a free group or not. I thought it, I did think it was. And I somehow I got put in that group and I felt bad because I was like, oh, she's going to think that I just don't want to be in her group. And that was not it. I just I didn't pay for the group. So I don't know why I got put in the group. If it was a paid group, and I meant to message you and tell you that today, and I forgot. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Oh, yes, please, Debbie. I just had really long hair, you guys. Just before I joined the group, I chopped it all off. You would not believe it. Totally chopped it all off. It was down to like um, middle of my back, maybe. And then Avery, too, she had really long hair. And then, you know, she cut hers her on her own. So we had to go take her and cut her hair off. Yeah, Joy's. Joy's. I decided I can no longer order mail or order craft supplies online anymore because. Um, it took me since Tuesday to explain to her that it was resupply stuff. And she's been so upset since then that she didn't get any mail. So I'm probably going to have to go back and send her something. She used to get, so the reason why she got so upset is because during Christmas time, um, our elf on the shelf brings her mail. And, you know, it's an adjustment trying to, like, not do the elf on the shelf thing anymore. Oh, my gosh, that's a really long comment. Hi, Tammy. Oh, naturally curly with humidity. Oh, it's difficult. Have you guys ever thought about cutting your hair? Hi, Melissa. Welcome. My name's Casey Lemon Jello. Okay, I'm just going to start going around and let's just do the base because now I'm just being too picky. This was the number one wreath that was on my Etsy page that would be was shown on my Etsy. Did you change your craft room too, Laura? Yeah, Lisa just cut her hair short too. We all went short. Let's have a let's have a contest. Who can cut their hair the shortest? No, I'm just kidding. Let's not. I I forfeit. This is as short as I'm going. I look like a I look like a fruitcake with short hair. Ouch. Dude, no. I go, it's so funny. I go long in the summer, short in the winter, which makes no sense, but it's what I do. And like the summertime, so, uh, I usually go with red hair instead of blonde hair, but I think I'm going to keep my blonde for a while. I kind of digging it. What happened to Tammy? What, what happened to her? I want to say congratulations. What happened? Oh, yay, Tammy. Bless you. I'll keep you in my prayers. OK, 
Cancer sucks. Hashtag cancer sucks. I have a friend that's going through a lot of cancer stuff right now, and I pray for her every day. Thanks, me. I feel like it always happens to the people that don't deserve it. Not, I don't think, that's really mean. I don't think that everybody deserves cancer, but you guys know what I mean, right? The nicest people. And then there's a girl that went to, or a little boy who went to preschool with Avery last year. And her, his little sister um, has a rare form of like bone cancer. And she's been fighting for, oh my gosh, over a year now. And it's, not, I don't think it's looking good. Make a wish came in and she's going to Hawaii. That's what she wanted for her make a wish. Um, Debbie, I find my shells wherever I can. Hi, Linda from California. Brenda, how are you? A shotgun shell wreath. Thanks, Beth. Thanks, guys. Oh, no. Prayers for anybody you guys know with cancer. Sending them all out right now. You need to do a group prayer if you really want. Mari, you can do a prayer for us. You have the best prayers. I look forward to those every day. Cancer sucks. Somebody shared a post on their Facebook today, and it literally made me tear up. It was a bunch of shoes on the steps of some building and it was about little kids that have committed suicide and some of the shoes were too little to even know what suicide means it made me so sad i have no idea who shared it though because i looked at it for a second and i was like this is awful brenda i freaking love your logo love your logo oh lord jean bless you i didn't know that you were cancer free oh my lana Prayers for you too. I hope it stays that way. Yeah, cancer sucks. I'm just gonna keep saying it. Cancer sucks. Getting old sucks too. Yeah, prayers for Lisa. Oh, I believe that, Tammy. There, like, I, there's no way I compare, can, can compare uh, anything I go through to what people go through with cancer. Hands down, don't don't agree with that completely. And I think it depends on who you are too. And some people have their own journey. You know, some people can just be like, "This is not nope." Like they can just have that mind frame, like they're gonna beat it, and they can have this positive outlook. And then others, I think it just there's they get scared to die. So they don't get as positive. They don't be as, they don't fight as much. Plus with all the toxins that you're putting in your body to get rid of them. I think it's just a lot. Welcome, Susan. Thank you for watching. Wow, we have a lot of cancer survivors on here. Holy cow. It's Lori's, Rachel, it's Lori, um, Lori Jacobs, hardworking mom. It's her group. If you want to join, let me know, and I will send you over a link. I have an affiliate link, so if you decide to sign up, I will send it to you. Exactly. You have to have the faith. Otherwise, you just setting yourself up to just to say, call it quits too early. She is awesome, Rachel. She has cha transformed my business. I went to, I was in Jennifer Allwood's inner circle, and then I um, decided that I needed someone more closer to the field that I was in, so I debated on which group to join. And then one day I just said, oh, I'm going to get on YouTube or something like that, and Lori was live on YouTube, and I took it as a sign, so I went and signed up that day. It's funny not knowing who Mari is at the time. Mari and I would have conversations under hardworking mom, not realizing it's Mari. Does that make sense? 
So for the longest time, I'm like, oh yeah, thinking I'm talking to Lori. I was actually talking to Mari, but it's it's just funny because Mari said the exact things I just the thing when Mari would co comment back to me, not being in the group yet. I just knew that it was the right path for me, and I just don't want to other explain that. Are you serious? That is horrible. Oh my gosh, 17. That is too young. That is too young. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I was bullied all through high school. I did something super stupid and um yeah, I was bullied all through high school. I did something stupid, I hung out with a boy, and it caused so many issues for me. And um, the girls picked on me and picked on me and picked on me. And there's so many times where I wanted to kill myself. There's so many times where I was like, you know what? This There has to be something better than these girls. Like, going to school, and my parents made it worse. Like, trying to talk to the, the counselors and stuff, and the, then the school would make a huge deal about it. And just it just was awful. And so it really did make it worse. So sometimes I can understand why um, why they think to that. But then at the same time, it's like, I just like had this like, wait a second, there has to be something better. There has to be something more. Like, I'm going to do all these things. And then as soon as everybody graduates, it's not going to matter. And that's how I looked at it. It's like, as soon as we graduate, I never have to see these people again. I never have to talk to these people again. And I think it's really sad because usually the, if somebody resulting into suicide, there's a lot more issues going on than what's being talked about. And I think you have to talk about these things and they're hard to talk about. So hard to talk about. Hi, Sue. Thanks, Laura Jean. Have a good night. Oh yeah, we have a lot of breast cancer in here. Yeah, Laura Jean is amazing. I like her too, she's awesome. You could do the ancestry me or the DNA thing and see what your chances are. Rachel, I would strongly advise coming from someone I love Jennifer with. Don't get me wrong. Freaking love her. She is amazing and she has a lot. She has great information. She's awesome. But I feel like she's at a different level for when you're starting out. I think she's someone that you go to the second or third year of your business, maybe. If you're not, like if you, I don't know, just her, I just, I can't afford it. I can't afford her anymore. Um, it was very hard actually to, to do that. And then I wasn't seeing any results. So, but yeah. So you just have to find the right teacher for you. Best way I can explain it is you go watch some of Jennifer's stuff and then go watch some of Lori Jacobs stuff. Go watch, Damon has a group too. Um, Julie Samako has a group. Go watch these people do their lives or go watch these people on YouTube. Um, see some of their business ideas and then find who you click with. Because it's, I don't think you, I don't want you to join something that is just, um, oh, Casey says I should join this. So let's just join this. That's not what I want you to do. I want you to join something that's right for you. So you need to go do your research on them and find out what you like. Talk to people, get other people's insights. I think there's some ladies that are actually on here that are in both groups. So they, they're great to talk to, give you feedback on which, on how they feel. But yeah, so it's, you just got to talk and figure it out. Exactly. That's like, that's literally it. In five years, it won't matter. I was a, um, I was a freshman and, um, luckily I, my dad just was had enough and he said, you're moving back home. So I moved back home and then I had a great time in Montana smaller school there was a couple girls who were a little mean but I didn't give a crap I was like I'm just gonna punch you in the face at this point I know that's not right but that's how I felt like if you're gonna be mean to me I'll just punch you in the face um I just wasn't gonna take it anymore I took it for so long when I lived went out here where I went to school at in my freshman year and I just took it and took it and took it and took it and finally I just said you know what enough enough I'm not gonna deal with it and so that's why I teach Avery the same thing. If she's not going to be kind to everybody, then you just need to walk away. And then she needs to tell me if something's going on. So unfortunately, it's one of those things that you just have to be open to communicate about and talk about it. But that's so sad. I'm sorry for your friend's loss. That's I can't imagine burying one of my kids. I can never 
oh, just the thought of it makes my stomach just hurt. And over something that probably could have been prevented if they would have known what was going on. You know what I mean? Like you said, he was sports and stuff or whatever. Yeah, there's no way, like, he probably didn't even show any signs that he was depressed or any signs that he was hurting or in pain of some sort. Mental illness is not a joke. I love what Lady Gaga said. Um, did anybody watch the Grammys when she said that? She said, mental illness, and we need to talk about it. If you're scared or if you're having issues, you need to talk about it. Oh, she was dead right on that. Talk about it. Find a friend. Find someone. Or if you're worried about someone, report it. Tell somebody that you're worried about someone. Right? That's what you did, care to you. I'm sorry, I missed that. I love Lori too. She's amazing. She is amazing. Super supportive. And her team, aka Mari. <laughs> and I'm sure she's got other members on her team. I just don't know who they are. But they have it right. And then I love working with we get to work with um amanda and katie a lot too because they're in her group too so we get to work with those ladies a lot on um, like sundays we do what's called but well i don't i think that's just for this month i don't know if they'll continue it but on the first sunday of the month we do what's called bow sunday that's in our creative group though not our business group but um we do both sunday with them and so it's been cool to learn from crazy Maisie's and then uh Maisie's heart or hazy's heart and home it's been cool to learn from them too And Laura Jean's in the group too, and we learn from her all the time, which is really nice too. Learning from some of those that are bigger than you. I love it because I learn something new each time I log on. It's never the same thing. No such thing as a stupid question. Yes. Um, Susan, you and Debbie should connect. Oh my gosh, how did you get this? Debbie, are you still on? You and Susan should connect. Oh, What'd you step on? Did something hurt you? Yeah. It, it sounded like a hot glue gun. No, it was not a hot glue gun. Hot glue gun's up here. This is Avery, everybody. Can you say hi? We have new friends on here tonight. Um, can I get some cheese? No. Please. Did you eat your dinner? My is hungry. You're going to have to wait till I get done with my life and then we can talk about it. I, I can't wait. You can eat a banana. Mm. She didn't eat her dinner. <laughs> She's not hungry. <laughs> oh, sorry that you got kicked out. Kaden does not want to go to sleep, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do about this baby. Joe's not home either to go grab him, so. If Avery would be quiet, it would help. Oh, anyway, let's talk about something happy. Yeah, you don't have to drink wine. I just I just say that because um, a lot of my viewers in here, they like wine. I know I missed a lot last week too when I was gone. On Thursdays, we do the live and wine. So you just gotta bring your favorite beverage and then whenever I say the word shotgun or whatever word it is, you just take a sip. So either you're going to be really hydrated for tomorrow or work is going to suck. Either way, it is what it is. 
I usually don't drink actually on my lines. You guys know that? I think I've only actually drank on like two of them, but tonight I am drinking one. I wanted a glass of wine tonight. Oh yeah, that sucks. Be careful doing a zoom while you're driving too. Scary stuff. I didn't get any dove chocolates. My husband better come home with something chocolatey or some French fries because the girls got to eat. That's my favorite episode of Friends. Does anybody else watch Friends on here? You're dating the two guys, Phoebe. Yeah, well, girls got to eat. <laughs> How many of you guys went on a date tonight just to get out of the house for Valentine's Day? And yeah, just to go, just to get out for Valentine's Day. How many of you guys went on a date? Chocolates are on sale tomorrow. See, Rachel drinks on my lives. And then where's Jessica? Jessica's not here to keep track of all this. Wonder what's going on with her. She hasn't been on a couple of my lives. Um, That's what I wanted, a glue gun. I wanted that electric glue gun. And he was like, he called me today. What are you doing? Oh, I'm at Home Depot. Oh, yeah. That glue gun's on sale, you know. Oh, it is? Yeah. All right. And he comes home, and I'm waiting for him to walk in with the box, right? Nothing. And we did agree we're not getting each other presents. We did. We totally said we're not getting any, we're not going to get each other presents. Okay? We did say that. Um, well, I figured he would do it anyway. So... That's what I need is a complete series of friends on DVD because one of these days Netflix is going to say, guess what? We're not paying for this anymore and they're going to get rid of it. And then I am going to complain and complain and complain and cry and cry and cry. Because I watch friends every night. I have to watch it before I go to sleep. Otherwise I can't sleep. And there's some nights where it stays on all night long, especially after I watch bird box. Did anybody watch bird box? Oh my gosh. That movie just made me feel craziness. It was all mixed emotions. First you were like, oh, okay, it's great. It's going good. Well, oh my gosh, close eyes. I don't want to see what it is. What is it? And you just don't know what it is. So. And then I watched the Ted Bundy tapes today a little bit before my kid went down for a nap and I took a break today. Um, I was watching the Ted, Bun Ted Bundy tapes. And I had no idea that he escaped from prison so many times. That is so crazy. And then he went on like a massacre in Florida when he did escape the one time. Just like, what the heck? How do you escape from, well, yeah, he'd like shrunk down to 120 pounds and slid up through a hole. So crazy. Bye, Sue. Have a good night. My kind of date, Susan. Yeah, Valentine's Day sucks. We can all sit here and drink our wine and hate our husbands for not getting us something. Even though we we said we weren't going to do Valentine's Day. We can just be mad at them that they really believe us. Isn't that the number one rule in marriage? If she says don't get her something, you really better go get it. I think my mother-in-law told my husband that. Yeah. I don't want flowers. I want craft supplies. So unless it's going to be a craft, a gift card to get some craft supplies, don't do it. Don't do it. Unless it's ribbon and mesh and signs, just keep it. I was just thinking back of that lemon that burnt my arm. That really did hurt. He was crazy. Nope. <laughs> Ted Bundy. Yeah, for real. That trip. You're, did you go by yourself that whole drive?
Hey, if you guys haven't already, will you guys hit that share button for me? I got to hit my goal. And pretty soon I'm going to be doing lives on YouTube. Pretty excited about that. Bye, Mari. Thank you for sending all my all these troopers. You're the bomb.com. Hashtag cubby life. Can't wait to get my ribbon box. I am way too excited about my ribbon box. I bought Lori, uh, ribbon from, oh, I bought ribbon from Lori. I can't wait to get it. I know we get so this is so funny the things we get excited for ribbon power tools bow makers speaking of bow makers you guys I'm selling the easy bow makers so if you're shopping for an easy bow maker and you need one head over to my website I got them I think I have let's see I think I have two left. Two in stock right now. I think I sold sold a few the other night. Bye, Kathy. Good night. Trying to get the glue off of this one. It's stuck on there. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Just gonna glue this one back on the top where it was. And then we're just going to fill in. Actually, we're going to do a bow. All right, so here's the shotgun shell. It is really heavy, guys. It is actually a really heavy wreath. I probably should have cut my styrofoam in done, or done a flatter one, but this is the only one I had, and I don't want to peel these all off to start over again. So still trying to figure out the best way to make it, but here it is. And we're going to add a bow, too. So it says hope, and then you got your shotgun shells all over. And see these empty little holes like down here at the bottom, you can see where you can see the, the, the frame. What I do then, and you can use these with any colors, is I cut off all the plastic and I just use the tip of it. Now, if you make this project, I need you guys to make sure you include me in anything you do. Hashtag lemon drop reshop, hashtag case of lemon jello, hashtag whatever. Okay? So if you make one, I want to see it. And make sure you guys tag me in it so I can see it. All right. So I open it up like this. And I just cut these off. All right? And then I save these. Because you never know where you can fill them in at. Okay, and then I'm just twisting this down so it doesn't hurt me. Stick me. It is, somebody asked me the same thing. It's the deluxe. She told me it was the newest one, but I don't see where it'll make the rose. Let me look. The deluxe.
There's an extra dowel than the one I have. So let's see. Mumbo. <laughs> it really does. It says mumbo at the end. Mumbo. I don't know. It's got. Let's see here. Yeah, it's got an extra spool. Hmm. I don't know. It looks just like mine. But it came, this one has four dowels. Mine only came with three. So it might be. I'll have to look at this and double check, but it looks like it might be. She told me that's, she told me it was the newest one, but I'll have to look and see. I bought him. Oh, yeah, you have Prime Empty. No, I did not buy him. I, uh, we go shooting and I buy the shells. Like, well, I guess, yeah, technically, I buy him and I go shooting. Oh, sorry, my nose little scratchy. Um, uh, I forgot what I was saying. Totally forgot what I was saying, guys. Or the gun range. The gun club up here where I live at. Um, he told me as long as I come when he's there, I can grab him out of the garbage can. So I've done that a couple times. My friends go shooting and they save them for me. So it kind of depends. Call your local um, shoot club, trap club, and see if they'll let you have them. Sometimes they will. Or go shooting and let off some anger. And then pick up your shells and you're done and take them for your crafts. Where are you from, Linda? I do too. I love these little makers. Sorry, guys. I have a. I all of a sudden I got really cold in here and I have my nose all red. Snipples. All right. Let's make a bow after I cut this one down. Make sure if you haven't already, you share the love. I know we're getting late at night here. So I was hoping Johnny was going to come on and see all those goodies and then get his creativity juices flowing. I had that happen to me right after Christmas. Oh, gosh. It was miserable. I was just like, I don't even feel like crafting right now. Just had no ideas. Okay, let's make a bow. I'm going to No, I'm not. I'm going to unplug that and burn myself on my pan instead. I'm going to turn that off because I probably won't need it right now. All right, let me show you guys what this is looking like. Oh, super heavy. Alright, so there it is. Shotgun shell wreath. And I have a few extra so I can place them where I need to. And the cool part is if when I use um, the ends like how I did right here, I can take like red ones and stuff and use those too and put them down there. But let's make a couple bows for this bad boy. They won't be, we don't want them to be very big because we still want the shotguns to be the main focus. I'm going to use my easy bow maker tonight. Or I can make one by hand. Should we make one by hand? Oh my gosh. I need to clean my craft room. That's what I need to do tomorrow. Clean my craft room and start cutting mesh for kits. 
Oh, I guess it does normally come with four. No, so it is not the one with the rose because this one doesn't spin. It is not the one with the rose. I forget that I don't have a center of one in mine, so I always think mine comes with threes. I made this bow on the Pro Bow. I'm going to take this breast cancer ribbon and use it. So. Does anybody else have a ribbon pile that they save? Should we do them by hand or should we do them on the easy bow? Yeah, where, oh, sorry, where, where are, where do you live? Linda, where do you live? You probably said it earlier and I just missed it. Because you said the only people that have guns are the police, and I wanted to know where you lived or where you were from. I think that's what it was. Oh, thank you, Susan. You have a good night. I have a cake up there that's calling my name after this. Now I'm going to watch Love and Basketball. I was watching Lori last night on YouTube use the Bow Dabra. I might just buy me one of those because I just really liked it. I thought that was so neat. Did anybody else catch Lori on YouTube last night? I just thought that was so neat. I was going to make these by hand, but I think we might just do one bow right now. Hopefully this isn't too big. This is a whole lot of pink for a girl that doesn't like pink. I know, it's so funny, I don't like pink. Night, everybody. Woohoo, Rachel. Johnny! Yeah, she used the bow dabra. It was really cool. I've never seen anybody use it before. I think, well, that's why I've watched Lori use it, but I haven't seen anybody else use it besides her. So it's pretty cool. Johnny, you need to watch the beginning of this because I opened some boxes and I think it might help your creativity to flow back through. I think. I think, I think, I think.
Rachel, did you already sign up and pay? Because I didn't give you the link. And if somebody else gave you their link, that's kind of mess up. I got so many replays to watch. Hi from Colorado. No, I hate pink. I've been to Jonathan like right after Christmas. Mari gave you my link. Whoa, what was I thinking with this tail? Oh, that's part of the bow. See what happens when I don't pay attention? Whoa. Don't use those. That's the noise I make when something makes me mad. <laughs> that loop fell right out. That's right. We'll deal. Okay, and I did these tails way too long. So we're going to trim out these tails. This ribbon is so glittery. glue this loop. Oh, gotta glue this loop down. Did you guys see that loop come right out? All right, guys, have a good night. I did the, oh, so I did the first zip tie, and then I realized that when I went to go put it on there, I let go of the bow on the back. So one of the loops came out, so I did a second zip tie on there so I could re-loop it. Oh, I'm sorry, April, that you're in the hospital. I like that bar that sticks down so it holds your ribbon in the bow dabber. I think that's my favorite part. Look at this, it's gonna pop right out. I'm waiting for my glue to warm back up so I can glue this.
Night, Lucy. Thanks for watching, honey. Yeah, we're getting into an hour and 30 minutes. So as soon as I get this bow glued, then we'll put it on the wreath and we'll call it a night. All right, it should be warm enough right now. My glue gun takes too long to heat up the pot is so much faster. I learned that from Kali taking the centerpiece of the ribbon and putting it around the center. So I just wanted a tiny bow for this one. Okay. Making sure that's too much. All right, let me grab my ribbon here. All right, we're almost done, guys. I know this wreath takes so long, sorry. Pack up my britches. And I curl mine like as if I was curling my hair, so I kind of go off to the side a little bit and then I just keep looping them together and then I bring it down. Maybe we'll curl them up even more. I don't really want it to cover that hope sign that much, but I did like them when they were hanging down a little bit. All right, guys, I think we're, maybe I'll do one more bowl right here, just a really small one, but I can do that later. Okay, you guys wanna see? All right, here we go. Well, let me move this camera up a little bit. Let 
can see it okay. Tails might be just a little too long. We'll see. I might look at it for a day though and see before I try to decide to cut them. I really did like them hanging down before even. I thought it was cute hanging down. Okay. Totally different, right? Never seen one like it. Only here. So there's a spot right here. That's what I was thinking. Let's do a bow. Let me do one more bow. I'm going to do it by hand, though. And I'm not using that spot ribbon. I'm going to use this one. Thanks, guys. Um, I get my shells wherever I find them. So I go walk out in the walk out and everything. Yeah, my bot is working. It's just not on this um, post. I'm not sure how much the bow dabber is in the U.S. Probably like 15 or so. April, if you click this link that I'm about to put in here, I'll pin it to the post. If you're on a computer, you'll be able to hit it now. If not, you'll have to wait till the live is over and you can come back and do it. If you hit this link, it will let you sign up for live notifications. You just have to, um, oops, not that link. Not that link, don't do that link. Delete. I like, eh, I like this because of what it is, but I don't like pink. And it has no, I just, it's my preference, but I still do, um, Oh, yeah, I don't have it hooked up to this uh, this time. I did not paint the shells. Nope, I went to the gun club, and I asked if anybody had pink shells that they were using, and they did. So around October, um, or like before, just before October, they start coming out with the pink shells. So if you go shooting and stuff, just save your, save your rounds. That's what I do. Or just go up and ask again. All right, if you click this little link right here that I put, I'm going to pin it to the thing. I'll pin it to the comments, April. If you click on that, you need to reply back with get started, hello, something, so that my bot knows that you're a real person, and you'll be signed up for notifications. And I usually send them out an hour before I go live, but tonight it ended up being a little bit earlier than that. I don't know why, but my bot decided to do it way earlier than what I had said. So apologize for that. Yeah, I like pink for when, I like, yeah. I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship with pink. Love-hate. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on my mood. Yeah, I couldn't get many chat to load while I was on the live. That's what I was doing in the very beginning of this live. I was trying to get mini chat to work so I could hook up the thing. And it was not working. I hear a baby crying and it's on the TV, not my baby. You guys ever do that? Any moms out there still awake that your baby crying and you immediately think it's yours, but it's not. All right, this one is not wired, so this one might be a little bit different. Hey, Kelsey Madsen. Holy cow. I haven't been talking to you in forever. Yeah, it's a breast cancer awareness thing, so that's probably why 
it's out or why I found why I yeah because I knew that they had them I've seen them at uh, gun shoots and stuff or gun gun meets and stuff trap shooting I've seen them before and I just happened to catch them on the right day when I went out looking and found them and I was like oh my gosh I want to do breast cancer wreath with it and like I said I've been waiting to do this wreath for a long time now I just want to do a small bow. I don't want a very big one. Don't turn. You stay where you need to be. Has anybody seen Incredibles 2? Me and Avery cannot stop watching it. We bought it, yet we keep watching it on Netflix instead of watching the DVD. <laughs> Isn't that so funny how that works out? We bought it, and then um, like two days later, it came out on Netflix. Let's do this because I just want to use the rest of this up. All right. Super glittery. Do you like how I get mad over that thing? It's not looking Oh, thanks, Kelsey. You're so sweet. I wish Facebook told me who watched. That would be so, because if I would have known that Kelsey was watching all this time. Kelsey and I went to high school together. She was one of my really good friends. Haha, -ha, that time I did not lose a loop. Go me. Okay, and I want this loop to be in the center. It's a little too big, so I'm going to see if I can pull it. That center loop is just a little bit too big. Should we make another one of these on a live? But I'll have most of it done. We'll just start where we did last time. Should we do another one? Not right now, obviously. Maybe. 
couple weeks or so. Whoa. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, last though. Put this on here and we're gonna call it a night. I should see my workspace. You guys would be like, what's going on over here? It's all messy. It was on Amazon and I have a link for that. Hold on one second and I can get it to you. And it came with my rotary cutter and an extra so uh, ruler. And it's the best. I've used this mat for, oh my gosh, I've had this mat for a long time. I really like it. And it came with my rotary cutter. Let me show you my rotary cutter. My rotary cutter. And I want to say it's a three, so it's a three piece set. And I want to say it was like 30 bucks, which is not bad. But if you have Prime, you know, you get that free shipping. So there's my mat. That link I just sent is the mat and the rotary cutter. Should I turn this off again? I thought I turned it back on. I gotta get a bigger extension cord. Sorry, did you guys totally just see like down my shirt? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Thirty-two dollars, I want to say something like that. Rian, girlfriend, you should be sleeping. You got two babies in that house. All right, let me show you guys. I think this is zoomed in. Let me see if this is zoomed in. It is zoomed in. And I'm gonna add that other bow right here on the bottom. And then it'll be really cute. But I decided to cut the tails. Maybe we'll offer a shotgun shell wreath kit. How about that? That could be a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, let's glue this. Oop, that is leaking on my finger. 
And I cranked it up really high to like get it to hurry and warm up. And I shouldn't do that. Yes. Are you done? I'm almost done. Why? I'm just finishing up this bow. You want to be really cute? What? If you add so maybe this little red stuff on it. Uh, not this time. Why? Because this is just a pink bow. A pink. Um, you want just a pink wreath. You just want a pink wreath. Yep. Okay, bye bye. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, where is my... Oh, my Lana. I can't handle this room. It's got to be clean tomorrow. Homework. Clean tomorrow. Alright. I swear we're almost done. Hi, first time watchers. How are you guys? We're just finishing up this wreath right now. It might be blotchy. My internet, I, we're getting a really nasty storm, and so it's really windy here. So there's a good chance my internet's going out. So I am planning on buying a, uh, a new modem tomorrow. So I will go get that, and then hopefully that'll stop happening when we have bad weather. My internet is just so crazy. If it's really windy here, which it is right now tonight, then my internet has issues. And I've called them a thousand times to ask them to come out and look at it. And they just tell me it's weather related, nothing they can do. So I'll be getting an internet booster here. All right, let me show you guys what this is looking like. Turn that off. I'm going to back this up just a little bit. There we go. All right, let me show you. And we are finished. Voila. Shotgun shell breast cancer wreath. So cute. Don't forget to hit that like and share button for me. Yeah, it's windy outside. So whenever it gets super windy, it has a hard time. So let me show you guys again. So this is my shotgun shell wreath breast cancer thing. Turned out super darling, right? Yeah. I love this. Oh, thank you for all the love. All right, guys, we're going to call it a night. We will see you guys on Tuesday. I go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays, every Tuesday and Thursday at 730 Mountain Standard Time. Look at this race we did last week. It was like that one. Look at the big old bows on there. So cute. So we go live every Tuesday and Thursday, like I just said. Um, 7.30 Mountain Standard Time. And if you guys click click on the link that's pinned in this slide, that's my robot. And if you click on that and then type in the words, get started, you can be notified every time I go live. But yeah, okay. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a great night. Be safe tomorrow and be kind to everybody, okay? Happy Valentine's Day.
Good night. Thank you, Linda. You're so sweet.